One of the biggest theories going into WrestleMania 40 is the idea that The Rock is going to turn on Roman Reigns and cost him the WWE Championship match on night two. As wrestling fans, it is in our nature to fantasy book things, for us to let our memories run wild, and to try to predict how a storyline will unfold. There is no doubt that at some point, The Rock or Roman Reigns are going to turn on each other and going into WrestleMania, there are so many fan theories of how and when that will happen, with most people assuming that this turn will take place at WrestleMania and it will happen during the Night 2 main event and that it will be The Rock who first turns on Roman before Roman turns on him. Now, I will admit that I have my own personal theory as to what I think and what I want to see happen the most in that storyline because we all know that the end game is The Rock versus Roman Reigns at most likely next year's WrestleMania, but at some point within the next year, maybe as soon as this year's WrestleMania, we will undoubtedly see one of the two men turn on each other. And with both men giving us multiple hints that it's going to happen eventually, let's break down everything that we know so far and what may happen next. Since most people believe that it is The Rock that will turn on Roman before Roman does, I'm going to first talk about all of the hints that The Rock has given us, starting with the most obvious one and the most talked about one, when the bloodline threw up the ones and The Rock, instead of just simply throwing up the ones the first time around, he instead threw up what seemed to be an L shape with his fingers. And the first time that he did it, although we noticed it and speculated about it, a lot of us, including myself, thought that, okay, maybe they are trying to hint at something, or maybe he just accidentally threw an L shape instead of a 1. But then two weeks later on SmackDown, The Rock did the exact same thing, but this time with extra emphasis when he threw up the 1 at first and then threw up the L shape, and Paul Heyman catches him doing this, and there's a picture online that shows Paul Heyman looking kind of suspicious of The Rock and that he is aware of what is going on while everybody else in the picture is simply throwing up the ones and maybe has no clue of what's going on behind them. And my theory is it was at this point that Paul Heyman notified Roman Reigns that The Rock may be up to something because this time it was the second time that he did it. And the way that WWE tells stories now are a lot more detailed where even the things that us as fans are speculating on Twitter that weren't made obvious on TV end up being things that actually matter way down the line. So that's why I believe that it was at this point that Paul Heyman made Roman Reigns aware of what The Rock may be up to. And this exact thing was brought up recently when Roman Reigns appeared on a Pat McAfee show. And I'm not sure if this was part of the storyline as well, or that Pat McAfee was truly just asking what the fans are all thinking, which is, is Roman Reigns aware that The Rock has been doing this? Because on the Pat McAfee show, when he asked him this, Roman just kind of brushed it off and ignored it. He kind of just changed the subject. And that kind of makes me think that in kayfabe, Roman Reigns is fully aware of what The Rock may be planning. But it is also entirely possible that in storyline, Roman Reigns is not supposed to know what's going on and is supposed to have no idea that The Rock is doing any of these things and is supposed to have no clue that The Rock may be turning on him so that when the turn does happen, Roman would be completely shocked of it because I do believe that that turn is the thing that is going to make Roman Reigns into a baby face if it is The Rock that is turning on Roman, but that is what I think is the most likely scenario. Another thing that some people have pointed out that happened on that first SmackDown when The Rock first joined the bloodline, that The Rock was looking towards Roman Reigns when he said that you're going to lose at WrestleMania. I don't think that that was intentional. I think that that was just people reaching. So I don't look at that as a sign really. But one thing that was made pretty obvious was after The Rock's concert on SmackDown, he was talking to Cody Rhodes' mom, but he may have misspoken, but what he said was Mama Reigns. And this one, I didn't see too many people 
talk about this and i think that this went over people's heads or maybe they didn't notice but he definitely said mama reigns but then he corrected himself while continuing the promo saying mama Rhodes. he only said mama reigns that one time really quickly so maybe people missed it but i think that that was done on purpose and that that was a clear sign that the rock is planning something because there is just no way that all of these things are happening the l-shaped one the misspeaking maybe of same mama reigns the pointing directly at roman reigns when he says you're going to lose at wrestlemania there are just too many signs right in front of us for me to believe that that is not what's going to happen but a theory that i've seen someone make that i kind of like the idea of would be that yes roman reigns is aware of all of these things is aware that the rock might be planning to turn on him so roman being aware of this is one step ahead of him and i don't know how the rock will plan on turning on roman the first idea that people were thinking of was that he is a double agent working with cody rhodes look at him look, look, look. Uh, ah. i don't think that that is what's happening i think that the rock turning on roman reigns is something that he's keeping to himself but i like the idea of the rock trying to turn on roman but then because roman is aware of it it backfires on The Rock, and somehow Roman ends up winning at WrestleMania and retains that title. And I know for most people, any scenario that ends with Roman walking out as champion and Cody not is an unpopular opinion, but I think it's a nice swerve that would make the storyline between Roman Reigns and The Rock a lot more interesting as it progresses. Now, one thing that is kind of also being overlooked is that okay maybe none of this happens or maybe all of this happens but what's mostly being overlooked has nothing to do with roman or the rock it has all to do with seth rollins and a while back when this idea was first mentioned or first brought up i hated the idea of this but the more that it played out on tv the more i thought that this idea might actually work pretty good it's the fact that seth rollins made it very clear that he intends on having Cody Rhodes' back at WrestleMania because he wants the bloodline to crumble just as much as Cody does, if not more. But at no point did Cody send that love back to Seth. At no point did Cody say, Seth Rollins, I have your back too. When Seth asked him on Raw a few weeks ago if he has his back, Cody kind of ignored him and he turned his attention to The Rock and started cutting a promo on the bloodline, which makes me think that during Seth versus Drew for the World Heavyweight Championship, Cody Rhodes will be nowhere in sight, while the bloodline will cost Seth Rollins the World Heavyweight Championship, because remember, The Rock made it clear that his beef with Seth Rollins is that he is going to do whatever in his power to make sure that Seth Rollins is no longer a world heavyweight champion. So there will definitely be some bloodline interference that leads to Drew McIntyre picking up the victory and Seth Rollins being screwed, which will entice Seth Rollins to later on in the main event, cost Cody Rhodes the chance at finishing his story and cost him the match and a WWE championship. Because despite the storyline, deep down inside, in character, Seth Rollins couldn't just easily be friends with Cody Rhodes anyways. He can get through WrestleMania and get through the bloodline beef, but when it comes down to Seth's business, the most embarrassing moment of Seth's career may be the three losses to Cody Rhodes. So Seth, in the back of his mind, definitely would have some animosity towards Cody and was able to just let it go for a couple of nights at WrestleMania and they go their separate ways. But after Cody is nowhere in sight in helping him against the bloodline for his world title match, Seth will have every reason to turn on Cody Rhodes. So I see this as the second most likely scenario as to what will happen at WrestleMania 40. And this way, neither Roman or The Rock would have to turn on each other. That's going to happen, but they can save that for later down the line, maybe around SummerSlam time. And in this scenario, Seth Rollins ends WrestleMania as the most hated man in the company. But these are just theories. Let me know what you guys think of them. Or what are your theories? Leave them in the comment section below. Do your boy a huge favor and hit that like button as it helps my videos get seen in the algorithm. 
Please subscribe to my channel for more quality WWE discussions and content. Follow my social media accounts in the links in the description. And you guys, stay smooth.